finally Jordan Love's time to shine in Green Bay after Aaron Rodgers was finally traded to the New York Jets. Jordan Love was drafted in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft in the season after Aaron Rodgers and the Packers went 13-3 and lost in the NFC Championship game. Many analysts thought the Packers would address a weapon to complement Rodgers' game, but they ultimately decided to go after his future replacement with the kid out of Utah State University. Jordan Love hasn't shown much in his limited playing time in Green Bay, but now it's time for him and the offense to get ready to see if he can prove why he has a first-round draft pick. Jordan Love was a two-star recruit out of high school and ultimately went with Utah State over the likes of smaller schools in eastern Washington and northern Arizona. After redshirting as a freshman, he was named the starter for his sophomore year of school. He played in all 13 games, posting 3,567 passing yards for 32 touchdowns to only six interceptions. His team made it to the 2018 New Mexico Bowl, where Love was named the MVP of the game after he passed 359 yards for four touchdowns. Utah State's 2018 campaign was so good, they finished with an 11-2 record and ranked number 22 in the AP poll. After an impressive sophomore year, Love looked to continue to make strides in his junior year and went for north of 3,400 yards passing with 20 touchdowns. In 2020, Jordan Love was listed as the third quarterback on the depth chart behind both Aaron Rodgers and Tim Boyle, and he was inactive for every single game. But in 2021, the Packers moved Jordan Love up to the second string quarterback. He got his first bit of playing action in week one when the Packers lost big time. 38-3 in relief of Aaron Rodgers. But what many people remember about Jordan Love's first impression in the NFL is when he was named the starting quarterback for a game against the Kansas City Chiefs when Aaron Rodgers had tested positive for COVID and was deemed ineligible to play. Love showed both promise and a reason for concern in his first ever NFL start where he threw for 190 yards, one touchdown and a pick. Jordan Love was substituted into the season finale for the Packers for the 2021 season and the second half against the Lions, where he threw 10 completions on 17 attempts for 1,340 yards and a score, but also threw two late interceptions, which would cause the Packers to lose 37-30. He only played just a little bit in 2022, where he filled in for an injured Aaron Rodgers just to complete six passes on nine attempts for 113 yards and a score. But while Jordan Love's first impressions in the NFL haven't been anything up to the standards of quarterbacks that the Packers have had in the past with players like Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre, the Packers still have a lot of reason to be hopeful that Jordan Love is the guy that continues the tradition of strong quarterbacks in Green Bay. According to Lance Zierlin, in Love's pre-draft scouting report, Jordan Love has a long list of strengths that include him being tall in the pocket and being a smooth natural thrower. He also keeps the ball tucked in and secure while he scans the field, meaning he's less likely to fumble the ball. He's a solid passer when it comes between attacking in between the hashes. He's got the ability to scramble out of the pocket under pressure but might not necessarily scramble as well as someone like, say, Lamar Jackson or Justin Fields. And he seems to be a pretty good deep ball passer as he has good open field vision and can make throws quickly and on point. But just because someone is praised highly at their NFL draft scouting report does not necessarily mean that that is a true indicator of how someone will pan out in their NFL career. Remember when Mel Kipper said that Jamarcus Russell would become the next John Elway? Well, how did that turn out? Not so good, right? By the way, if you're interested in a video talking about the worst NFL draft takes of all time, be sure to check out our video. And while you're at it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Anyways, back to Jordan Love. The truth is, we are being way too harsh on Jordan Love for such a small sample size that we've seen him play. Jordan Love had to sit behind Aaron Rodgers for three years just how Rodgers had to sit behind Brett Favre for three years. Jordan Love does not have one full season under his belt, so it's not fair to be too harsh on him just yet. But it is okay to be critical. Let's at least give him one full season as the starter in Green Bay to fully determine if he is the guy for the future or not. The Green Bay Packers did sign him to a one-year extension though, 
And while Aaron Rodgers has seemed to have taken some of Green Bay's top weapons with him to New York, players like Randall Cobb and Alan Lazard, Jordan Love still does have some pretty impressive weapons to target on offense. First, let's start with his running game duo of Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. Both of these guys together are arguably the best backfield duo in all of football and have been that way for at least the past two seasons. Then they have Christian Watson out of North Dakota State University on the second year of his rookie deal who had a lot of positive plays last year in 2022. They still also have Romeo Dubs, who showed glimpses of hope for the Packers in 2022. They also added on a high prospect wide receiver in the draft in Jaden Reed out of Michigan State. And the Green Bay Packers offensive line is still pretty solid with Josh Myers under center and on the left side of the offensive line with Dave Bakatiari and Elton Jenkins. Now, Jordan Love probably will never turn out to be a four-time NFL MVP like Aaron Rodgers, but he does have the physical attributes and athleticism to turn into a top 16 quarterback with the right tools around him. And for right now, he does appear to have a nice list of guys to work with. Earlier in the offseason, Jordan Love and the offense were seen practicing drills, which caught the eye of media personalities. And it appears that Jordan Love is ready to take over the starting job for quarterback in Green Bay, and he has a big ex expectation to live up to. With Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers leading the pack for Green Bay for the past 30 years, it's finally time for Green Bay to start a season without one of the two legends leading the way. What are your thoughts on Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers? Where do you think they will finish in the NFC North this year? Do you think Jordan Love takes that next step? And how much different are the Packers offense without Aaron Rodgers? Be sure to leave your comments and video suggestions down below. And if we choose your video idea, we'll shout you out in the video. Jordan Love's goal with the Packers will be trying to find the end zone and win games. Our goal here at End Zone Football is to provide you with frequent high quality videos discussing all sorts of NFL content. So if you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video. And if you're a soccer fan at all, be sure to check out our friends at Football Magic for some of the latest soccer content on YouTube. Remember, stay blessed and to always follow your dreams. That's all for this one and we'll see you next time here on End Zone Football.